So in order to ensure that tourism is sustainable into the long term, what are the overall conclusions that can be drawn from this particular, this particular study? And in terms of mitigation, it's clear that if climate policy is to work, fossil fuels need to become more expensive. Stakeholders have to learn to accept, support and develop low carbon tourism systems. On the business level, this will currently mean savings rather than costs. However, in the medium term, energy intense forms of tourism would become infeasible. This means that early adapters are likely to have a business advantage to those that follow later. And overall, a decentralised, low carbon economy is, is likely to support more jobs while contributing to poverty reduction. As such, the work on mitigation in tourism is still in its infancy and needs to begin immediately. Otherwise, emissions will rise steeply and, uh, within, from within the tourism uh, system. And finally, there are similar conclusions to be drawn for adaptation recommendations. Ignoring climate change will impose increasing costs for tourism and make certain forms of tourism unfeasible. Studying impacts and assessing adaptive capacity can help to identify key vulnerabilities and opportunities and improve overall decision making. The cost of studying and implementing adaptation needs is likely to be far lower than accepting the costs of failing investments or lost tourism opportunities in the future. There is a clear economic argument to work with adaptation. And finally, the work currently done by most OECD countries on adaptation needs to begin immediately to avoid greater future costs and to stabilise the global tourism economy. Thank you very much.